Okay, if you guys have um, an ET Wow or U Scooter uh, Booster GT or any other booster models, I think the repair will be the same. And you're getting the E2 or E4 error code, and your scooter is not functioning at all. Um, this should be the repair solution to uh, fix this problem. Um, there's two possibilities that could be wrong with the scooter. Um, uh, it's either a bad controller or a bad um, the spring wire. And the controls hundred bucks and the spring wire is twenty dollars. So I am uh, going to go with the spring wire first. The spring wire kind of looks like this right here. And this you can buy off of AliExpress. It's about twenty bucks. Took me about two weeks to get, wasn't too bad. And I already started taking the scooter apart um, before I decided to make this repair video because I couldn't find anything online how to do it. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of reverse engineer it and put it back together. And so you'll be able to figure it out from there. So basically the uh, spring wire is in, inside the, the main tube. It runs down from the handlebar. It's these two, these two connector wires right here that plug into the LCD controller, they plug in this little motherboard right here. I'll show you guys how to put this back together uh, as we start the assembly. And so basically, I had to take everything apart. It took me a little while to figure it out, but it wasn't too bad once you do it once. Um, and if you watch this, you should be able to figure it out. Um, basically, the, uh, the handlebar post um, has some threads in there. I don't know if you can see it. And it threads onto this stem right here. So, and there's two screws right here. Uh, they have an Allen key. I took the two screws out. They look like, like this. So you need to, need to remove these two screws from from, uh, from right here. And then uh, you obviously unplug this. This is generally plugged in here, you unplug this. And then um, you basically twist the tube. It's kind of light, it's lightly threaded onto the, the main uh, fork, I guess. And so once you unscrew it, it comes off. Okay, I'm not really sure if it's necessary, but I think it's easier. I am going to um, use a little piece of tape, electrical tape to pull the other wire, pull the new wire through. Um, and so I'm gonna tape these connectors, make sure it's the right way. The two leads going towards the top part of the LCD screen. And then I'm going to use the uh, wire over here to pull the, the new wire through. There we go. There's the old wire coming out. There's the new wire going in. Okay, so this this uh, grommet, this rubber grommet that holds the wire in place, by the way, you cannot take this wire out without taking the, uh, the stem off. So you have to completely remove the stem in order to get this wire out. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, any kind of dish soap around the grommet, see if that helps, helps slide it in place. Put soap on there. Pull that around, and if you see closely, you can see that the rubber grommet is now where it belongs. This has some slack on it, so you can slide it back and forth. The way, you wanna make sure that the the distance on the, on the top of the bracket, it, the longer part goes to the top. I put it in backwards and it didn't work because uh, basically, you put it upside down the screw, if you put it upside down, the, the screw will hit the wire. So you just wanna make sure that the shorter part of the stem, shorter part of the clamp goes towards the bottom. Uh, and then we're just gonna kinda, you think it's ready, but it's not, just gotta press it, squeeze it down. And then we're gonna use the, these uh, screws right here with the lock nuts. Um, and basically wanna make sure that the stem is pressed all the way against the, the, the bottom nut on there, so it's nice. Right now, the, it's not tight at all, the, the, uh, the wheel and the, and the uh, stem are loose, but once we tighten these two screws up, it's gonna clamp it down in place and everything should be good. We'll put the second screw in the bottom. And I'm going to uh, just lightly tighten up right now. Later on, I'm gonna go back and readjust the alignment uh, to get the wheel and the steering and everything straight. Okay, so right, right now everything's unplugged. The controller's unplugged and the, 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 the power of the wheel's unplugged. And we're gonna get ready to um, put the uh, the handlebar back in place. And so at this point, I'm gonna put the scooter back on the ground so we have a better angle, and we'll continue from there. All right, I'm gonna use the old spring wire and snake it through and then tape it on the bottom and pull it back up and see how that works out. I'm using the old wire, feeding it down through the handlebar. And here it comes, come out the other side, like that is the old wire. I'm just gonna use it to pull the, the tape it to the new wire and then pull it through the tube, hopefully that'll Work it goes back to the top. Okay, so I'm just gonna like this. Put a little tape around this, these connectors right here. Okay, ta-da! Got those wires through. Wasn't too hard. 
No, I'm going to leave that on there until we're ready to put the handlebar together so it doesn't fall back through. Okay, so basically, um, once you get the spring wire in place, there's a, you can see on here, right about here, right about the end of the spring. Let's see how much slack we have there. Uh huh. Don't need more than that. You want to make sure that you leave enough slack of wire coming out on top so that you can um, uh, hook the connector up. So. There, let's see, down there. Can that go back inside? I think it can, okay, good. So there is a little, a little clamp like this with a screw on it that basically holds the top half of the spring wire into position. I don't know how well you can see that, but this clamp keeps the, the top half of the spring wire from moving. And so, let's see if I can get this little in there. Okay. Got that in place. There's a really tiny nut that holds that in place right here. So also, a little lock nut. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There it is right here. And then I'm going to screw that in place. I believe that's a Phillips head. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we now have the clamp in place right here, if you can see that. And the bottom half of the spring wire has some pull, you know, up and down, I guess, for the handlebar going up and down. And the top part is um, locked in place to connect to the to the uh, LCD control screen. So I'm, now that's, now that's um, nicely locked in place, it isn't going anywhere. I am going to take off the tape that I used to sneak the wires through. Okay, old spring wire done. And uh, now I'm going to put the handlebar back in place. And you obviously can see that this um, little button goes in right there. And there's this plastic um, I guess spacer that also slides into the handlebar. It has to be lined up properly. There's a little notch that can slide in. Slid in. And you can just see where. And so right over here, there's also a little screw that holds that together. Looks like this. And again, we use the, oh, this is a small one, this is a three millimeter Allen key. Oops. Handlebars now back in place. Um, I tighten the one screw over here that is to the latch that holds the scooter when you fold it to the rear fender. Tighten it up nicely. And now coming back to the the um, LCD screen, you want to be really careful with this. It's kind of fragile. Um, let's see. There are, there are a bunch of wires on here. The, the one wire that comes from the bottom goes on. I recommend that when you're taking this apart, that you take a couple pictures of uh, how it goes, but basically these, these connectors right here can only go in one way. Um, there's a little, little notch in the center of them, make sure that you install them the right way. And this one, these are just lined up and you would push it in. And just push those connectors in. And the, the lights go to the front. And so there are, um, there's, uh, a red and black that goes for the, the brake controller and a red and black that goes for the throttle controller. And you wanna make sure that you put those on the proper sides because they're the same connector. So the one on the throttle, on the brake lever side, this one would go to the left-hand side. The, the second, right after the red one, uh, is the second one from the left. And just pop that in. And then you have the, um, 
Next to it would go the uh, throttle controller. Just press that in. And the next one is the wire coming from the control wire, which uh, is a three is a, has three prongs on it. And that goes right into, it's a little hard to see, but it goes right in the controller right there. And the last one is the two wire that goes into the red connector. I don't see them drying, but okay. And you just you can push them in there with your finger. You'll feel them. You can just push them with your fingernails and just make sure they're seated all the way. And they are. So this thing's nicely connected now. All all the wires are are hooked in place, and yeah, there's kind of there's room in here to kind of just let them wiggle around, and get them in position. And then, I guess when you're when you're putting the um. Let me lower this a little bit more if I can. Get this over there. Okay, when you're putting the uh, controller uh, back on the LCD, LCD screen back in place, you just want to make sure that none of the wires are covering the holes where the screw where you're gonna put the, the screws in. And there's two little like di light emitted diodes on the side over here that have to line up. Uh, you can see it that line up with the two notches on the side. You can kind of just play with them as you're putting it, pushing it down to get them in place. And Basically what I found out is that the scooter will not work unless this is this is in place like this. Okay, and then there's four screws that basically hold this in. Um, they're too long and too short. Uh, pay attention when you're taking it apart. The two smaller ones. The two, the two, two very, very tiny. The two, two super tiny Phillips heads are really tiny Phillips heads. I don't know if you can just see this little sucker. It looks like that. I mean, they all kind of look the same, but this is the smallest of the small. Go in these two holes right here. And I'm about to put those in. It's really small. If you drop it, I would put like a towel underneath the scooter because if you drop it and this thing, that little screw fall, slides away, you're gonna have a hard time finding it because it's really small. Okay, one in place. There's the second. It's going to go in place. Okay. And then we have the light cover that goes on, and the light cover has all the holes for the LEDs. If they don't, if the LEDs don't line up, you can wiggle them a little bit just to get them in place. It's not that big of a deal. And it only goes on one way, so you'll figure that out once you kind of get that in place. Yep, okay. Okay, so the part with the notches go, go to the top. The flat part goes to the bottom. Okay. And then that cover just slides on there like that. And then we have, last but not least, we have the... Okay, the two longest screws like this go into the, into the top screw holes right here and here. So the two longer ones. And the two shorter ones go down here. I'll show you in a second. One. Uh -huh. I think I want to tighten these down nicely, but you really don't need to torque them down, just snug. Okay. And there's two smaller screws, I don't know if you can see, that go here and here. So I'm gonna plug the, the motor back in and I'm gonna plug the uh, controller wire back in and then let's see, um, and the uh, rear brake. And on these things, there's a little arrow that lines up. You can line the, arrow, you can line the arrows up to make sure that before you squeeze squeezing it and bend the pins, make sure you look for the two arrows, line the two arrows, and then um, push them together. If you can see, okay, that's done. Over here on the bottom. Same thing uh, for the controller wire. There's two arrows that line up. And a little notch, I want to make sure all those line up properly before trying to squeeze them, otherwise you'll bend the pins. And uh, then we're gonna put the motor wire back together. Same thing, you didn't have to disconnect the motor wire, I did that. Okay. 
And now I'm going to make sure that the that the handlebar is straight with the wheel. And wait, once it is, wait, I didn't tighten those the, the uh, screws at the bottom. These screws. I didn't torque them down until everything's lined up and the handlebar straight. So I'm about to do now. Okay. These you really want to torque down nicely because this is what holds the stem to the to the fork. And uh, here we go, see what we got. All right, scooter's on, all looks good. I don't see any, any E2 or E4 error. I need a little room to try this thing out, make sure it works. Okay, now comes the true test. Let's see if this, this repair actually worked. Scooter's on, let's check the lights. Lights working, here goes nothing. We are back in business.